I might like it if I got good at it. But I won't, so I'm not. Anyway, that was fun. Got all the dragons. Still short for the balloon ride, but I mean, I'm supposed to want to get all the dragons here before I go on the balloon ride anyway. Can't leave my brethren in stone. That's just rude. Here's one. Treetops. Sure. Let's explore them treetops. Yeah, the delay on the... Even the delay on the capture over... It's not nearly as bad as it used to be. Like, if I hit a button, it would be a good one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Ah, then it shows up. Now it's... <coughs> it's oh, well. I can't... I can't test it now. All right, you just let... Okay. So... Hey, woke him up. That was rude. All right, so... When I hit the X button, he obviously jumps. Jump. See? Okay. So I'm going to say on my feed over here where the delay is, how long that delay takes. So he just jumped. So yeah, the delay is still... Bananas? Delay is still noticeable. It's just significantly less noticeable. So I'm guessing in this level... Hey, there's things down there. Oh, it looks like it's just that. But there could be something down there. Also might be where I'm going, so before I go there. Is this level going to be chasing an egg thief the entire time? Because that would be interesting. It's different. Some variety in the levels. And before anyone gets on my case about he wants variety but refuses to do the flying levels, variety that doesn't suck. That's an important qualifier, I guess. Uh, no, that's not where I'm going. I'm going to go explore down there. I don't think it's too much to ask for some good variety in a game. Don't be getting on my case about that. That's exactly the sort of thing people do. Particularly in, uh... My, what the hell is the point of this place? Particularly in my Edgeworth playthrough, people, uh... Likes to point shit out like that. I would complain about something, but then uh, ask for a thing I was complaining about. It's like, alright, but I'm complaining about it because it's done poorly. I want it to be done well. It's sort of the important detail there. Okay, so maybe if I jump that way, or I don't know, maybe I'll get a power up later. I don't know. Okay, no. This is an old game, they're fond of power ups, right? Fucking crossed eyes on the things are kind of funny. I mean, I can totally reach you. There. No, I can't go over there. Can I glide there? This might be a situation where I should run and jump. I feel like it's kind of asking for a run and jump. It is not. It was not. I also do think it is bullshit I can't run and then jump. Game over! Well. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Look at that sad boy. He's looking off over at my bed. Judging it. Maybe it's my coat? Uh, could be looking at my coat. No, they gave me four lives because I suck so much. That's cool. Uh, Alright, maybe we won't do treetops. If I, maybe, I mean, I'm just going to do whatever one I find first. That one happens to be treetops, I'll do treetops. Happens to be something else, I'll do that thing. Ah, here we go. Terrace Village. Is that the one I already did? Well, let's look at the guidebook. No, I did Misty Bog. We'll go back to treetops at some point. Ah. Entering Terrace Village. Yeah, but like, fire, and there it is in the delay. Bam. Yep. Pretty good delay. And I mean, I'm looking forward to how the 60 frames a second looks uh, on YouTube. That'll be nice. Be one of those big channels flexing my 60 frame muscles. Man, that guy's dead. 
I'd also be more impressed with the enemies if they didn't die in one hit. That was a, uh... On the other hand, it's not like we improved on that uh, in the years to come. Sly Cooper did that the first one. Damn! I hate that guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the other way. Um, alright, so that's clearly the way they want me to go. I sort of went to explore over there. These guys are a pain. Well, at least you can outworld. What does that say? No skydiving. Is that legit, or am I actually not supposed to skydive? Slightly more obvious, uh, hey, there's stuff over here sign. Dude, ow! Rude. Also rude. say visually the enemy variety is quite good. It's just kind of lame that they all die in one hit, you know? That's... I'm sort of expecting the other games to fix that. I'm fairly certain I remember the bosses in the other games at least having a health bar. So, you yeah. know. Pretty sure they at least get the hang of, if not general enemies, they certainly get the hang of bosses. Because other than this game so far, my memories of Spyro include a money bag guy that I had to chase at one point, um, a dude getting stuck in a doorway, and an angry witch very early in one of the games, or an angry sorceress or something. I don't know what she was, but she was angry. I remember that. I don't remember why she was angry. But she was. I was pretty sure you had to buy dragon eggs from some dude. Probably money bags to do. But I like money bags. I like the cut of his jib. At least I remember liking the cut of his jib. It's more than I can say for any character in this one, because I don't know any of the characters in this one. Barely have any personality. All the dragons here, personalities are flawed, or visualized, which is nice. I mean, you did what you could. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity. And Hadn't noticed. <sighs> so if electricity exists, how can we dragon stone? It seems really useful. Like, you know, for generators and stuff. Electricity is nice. How do I open the... Oh, right, I need to be, like, running at super high speed. So I should probably kill all of them, then. And that way the path is clear. Is that a firework? Why? Oh, I bet that's... yep, uh, that's right. They can also be broken with fireworks, I forgot. I only got one of them, though. Where the other one is? In case you can't tell, I'm sort of looking for it. I mean, I still don't care. If I miss gems, I miss gems, but, you know. We're not here... Ah, oh, fuck me, Amadeus. No bleak reference for you. Hey, buddy. They seem cool with the electricity. Probably them rubber shoes they have. A lot of gems up above, I'm noticing. Excellent. Wake me up inside! Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. I mean... 
Look, honestly, do we even have to really fight Nork? I mean, one dude made fun of him. He turned everyone to stone. Alright, bit of an overreaction, but at least I understand his motivation. I sympathize there. Nobody likes having their feelings hurt. Oh, fuck! Damn. Didn't take any damage from that. That went way better than I thought it would. But yeah, no one likes having their feelings hurt. We get it. Though he decides, you know, he's gonna attack that one guy. Fair enough. Besides, he's attacking all dragons. Overreaction. But, you know, still, relatable motive. No skydiving. Again, I... I mean, it sure looks like that's death, so I'm gonna listen to them. Um, yeah, but understandable motivation. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, alright, we saved all the dragons, you're plan to kill them all has been foiled. I think lesson learned, don't make fun of him when he's just sitting around minding his own damn business. And you know, then we can all just go home and be happy. There's an amicable solution here. And yet I feel like I'm gonna have to fight Nork. Look, I just killed the chicken. Where's the dragon? There you are. Huh. I remember in one of the games, if he ate a dragonfly while Sparks was uh, full there, he would uh, grant you temporary invincibility. Alright, come on, come on. Yo! I had to, that was a hell of a move. I'm proud of myself for that move. a gem die. I totally missed a gem down there. I mean, if a gem's right there, I'm not just gonna ignore the damn thing. But I mean, like, I don't know. These gems are a fine example. They don't do anything other than just treasure. I'm not saying, you know, ah, oh, we need a power-up menu where gems buy me new abilities. No, that would be dumb. Not every game needs that. Shit, but, you know... Like, unlock a new level, maybe? Moneybags, at least, you know, you can buy shit from him for, like, more stuff. That that checks out. There's a reason behind this. This just kind of feels like, well, I mean, the gems exist. You might as well pick them up. Because they're gems. Uh, I got all the dragons. Near is... Uh, I'm also less than 100 away of gems, but I also don't care. As long as I got all the dragons. That is the important thing. Uh. But yeah, you know, like, uh, X number of gems buys you a new level. That... I would have motivation to get gems then. Right now it's just like, gosh, gems... That's something you're supposed to pick up, right? You should get him. Uh, another one other than treetops. We're just asking for completion's sake, really. Don't want to, you know, skip out on one of the levels in here. Other than that one, uh, the flight one that I am deliberately skipping because the flight levels are awful. Those I will definitively select. Like, I kind of was wishy-washy about this game. It's not bad. It's not good either. The uh, flight levels are just awful. I hate shit like that. I've always hated shit like that. Just, I'm not doing it. Certainly not for 100% completion. I draw a line. You know, the races in Sly 1, those suck. I hated them. Uh, the turret section from the Sly One. Those sucked. I hated those. And you know what? They got rid of them. They knew they sucked. They looked at that and said, boy, what was weak about the last game? These missions. Right. Not doing that, then. And they didn't do them. There's no races in Sly 2. No turret. Well, is there? No, there is actually a turret section in Sly 2. But right at the very end. Let's see. No, no, it's not. There's no turret section. 
All right, so they didn't learn from the turret section. They held on to that one, but there's no turret section in slide three. But there's no races either. And the hacking mini, oh, the hacking mini game in the first slide, dumb. Slide two and three, it's not bad. There's actual purpose behind it. Metalhead, yeah, that's the other one I need. It's the boss fight, all right. So, after I'm done running into the wall, we'll do treetops and then metalhead. And then we'll proceed to the next area. <sighs> and yeah, yeah, this game came out much long before... What the fuck? No Kikisa posted a photo. Cow piss. I mean, Tumblr has weird usernames, don't get me wrong, but... Cow piss? Uh... Ah, yes, the, uh, Pokemon that are bad idea designs versus Pokemon that are good idea designs are suspiciously similar to which ones are and aren't furry bait. Game Freak isn't running out of Pokemon designs. You guys are, ju you guys are just furries. Uh, that's, that's kind of funny. Ah, Spyro sneezed. It's the most personality I've seen in this character outside of reacting to some dragons who refuse to help me. <sighs> and I mean, even Sly 1, I know it's weird to compare this game to Sly 1, since Sly 1 was significantly later, but it's like just showing how much we learn from it. Or like, you know, could it, or, yeah, we did learn. Sly 1, it does the thing where all the enemies die in one hit. And, you know, that's not terribly, it's still not terribly interesting. I'm not gonna say it is interesting, just magically, because it's in Sly 1. What they do, though, is there's a bit where after you collect all of the clue bottles, which gets you more stuff in the game, mind you, if you complete the level, you get more abilities. Spyro, um, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. I also already knew that. Um, there's 50 dragons. But no achievement. Um, but yeah, I feel like I can go down there. But, uh, I should get this guy at least. Yeah, you know what they do? There's one of those power-ups. It gives you, like, the names and personalities of all the guards. So they all have names, and it lists, like, their hobbies. Which is fucking interesting and cool. I should have rammed into that one. But that's, like, interesting, but it's like, now the world doesn't feel just like a generic dude. You know, this is Dave Thurston. He likes soap operas. And now I've murdered him. You know, there was, there was personality there. This game just doesn't have that. Somewhere. I don't know where. Is there just one dragon in this game? No, there's three. So it's weird that I can already return home. That was wrong? Okay, so where does it want let's get a it probably wants me getting up there, but I don't know how I can get up there. Okay, so come down here. Ha! Nope. How the hell do I get up there? Or there, for that matter? Hmm. It's doing that incredibly annoying thing where it doesn't let me just turn around when I rise up into the sky. Do I need to hit, like, every arrow? Let me try and hit, like, every arrow to reach max speed. I don't think I... Let's start back here, just in case that matters. Nope. I make it here, and that's it. Hmm. Yeah, but I need the rest of the dragons. Oh, yeah, and the dragon eggs. I want those, too. And he might have one of them damn eggs.
I go this way? That's the way I came out. That is not a way to go. Hmm. I can probably make it over there, actually. Certainly not over there. That's where he is. Alright. Is this the first area? Have I magically... I think I found the first area again. Yep, looks like I've reset myself back at the first area. Okay, so we figured out what that's for, at least. Hmm. A head scratcher. Seriously, I, I know I'm still on that, but like, what are those things? You cook them and a gem pops out. I think I found the way to go. This is clearly something up here. Okay. Oop. Found the second dragon. Lyle. Feeding spiral for an amazing tour of the treetops. Don't just stop at one supercharge. Ha! Oh. I think I'm picking up what you're throwing down. I need to keep go. Yep, I think I need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. That's tricky. But it is different, so I appreciate that. I feel like I am being challenged. 